All right, basic debating skills. What is debate? A debate is basically an argument that is not an undisciplined shouting match between parties that passionately believe in a particular point of view. In fact, the opposite is true. Debate has strict rules of conduct and quite sophisticated arguing techniques. And you will often be in a, posi in a position where you will have to argue the opposite of what you believe in. So what is a topic? The topic is something to argue about. They are often about current issues of public importance. That should, um, for example, should women drive in um, KSA or about general philosophies or ideas that beauty is better than brains. All topics begin with the word that. As in other arguments, there are two sides to any topic. The team that agrees with the topic is called the affirmative and the team that disagrees with the topic is called the negative. So the definition, if a debate is going to take place, then it must be agreed in advance what the debate is going to be about. Deciding and explaining what a topic means is called defining the topic. The job of defining begins with the affirmative. The first speaker of the affirmative must explain in clear terms what they believe the topic means. In deciding this, the affirmative team should always try to use the person on the street test. The negative team may agree with or choose to challenge the def definition presented. The negative team should be very careful about challenging as it is difficult to continue to debate with two, um, with two definitions. The team line. Because debating is a team event, it is important that the speakers work together as a team. The team line is the basic statement of why the topic is true for the affirmative and why the topic, topic is false for the negative. It should be a short sentence presented by the first speaker of each team and used by the other two speakers to enforce the idea of teamwork. The roles of the speakers. In a debating team, each speaker has specific, specified roles that they must fulfill to play their part in the team. The roles of the speakers. First affirm, affirmative must define the topic present the affirmative's team line, outline briefly what each speaker in their team will talk about, present the first half of the affirmative case. First negative, negative must accept or reject the definition. If you don't do this, it is assumed that you accept the definition. Present the negative team line, outline briefly what each of the negative speakers will say, rebut a few of the main points of the first affirmative speaker. The first negative should spend about one quarter of their time rebutting. Present the first half of the negative's team case. Second affirmative must reaffirm the affirmative's team line, rebut the main points presented by the first negative. The second affirmative should spend about one third of their time rebutting. Present the second half of the affirmative's case. The roles of the speakers. Second negative must reaffirm the negative's team line, rebut some of the main points of the affirmative's case, and the second negative should spend about one third of their time rebutting, present the, present the second half of the negative's case. Third affirmative must reaffirm the affirmative's team line, rebut all the remaining points of the negative's case. The third affirmative should spend about two thirds to three quarters of their time rebutting, present summary of the affirmative's case, run off the debate for the affirmative. Third negative must reaffirm the negative team line, rebut all the remaining points of the affirmative's case. The third negative should spend about two thirds to three quarters of their time rebutting. Present a summary of the negative's case, round off the debate for the negative. Rebuttal. In debating, each team will present points in favor of their case. They will also spend some time criticizing the arguments <clears throat> presented by the other team. This is called rebuttal. There are a few things to remember about rebuttal. Logic, to say that the other side is wrong is not enough. Pick the important points. Try to rebut the most important points of the other side's case. Play the ball. Do not criticize the individual speakers. Criticize what they say. The individual speaker. There are many techniques that each speaker can use in their speech, but there are three main areas that you will be marked on, and they are matter, method, method and manner. Matter. Matter is what you say. It is the substance of your speech. You should divide your matter into arguments and examples. 
An argument is a statement. The topic is true or false, depending on which side you are on, because of X, where the argument fills in for the X. Matter cannot be just a long list of examples. You do not win a debate by creating the biggest pile of facts. Facts are like bricks in a wall. If you don't use them, cement them together properly, then they are useless. Many debates are on currently important issues, so it is good for any debater to keep themselves informed of what is happening in the world around them and what are the issues involved. Method. Where matter is what you say, method is how you organize what you say. There are many pieces of the method. Team. Good team method involves unity and logic. Unity is created by all members being aware of the definition, what the other speakers said, and what the team line is. Individual, you must structure your own speech well. The first step is to have a clear idea of your own arguments and which examples you'll be using to support those arguments. When you're presenting one particular argument, make sure that the argument is logical and that you make clear links between your team line and the argument. Rebuttal should be organized the same way. Attack each argument that the opposition presents in turn. Spend a little while on each and then move on to the next. Also, organize your speech well in terms of time. Educators can pick up when you are waffling just to fill in time. Manner. Manner is how you present what you say, and there are various aspects of manner that you need to be aware of. Cue cards. Do not write out your speech on cue cards. Eye contact is very closely related to cue cards. Voice. There are many things you can do with your voice to make it effective. Body. Your body is a tool for use to use. Make hand gestures deliberately and with confidence. Nervous habits. Avoid them like a plague. Like don't rock back and forth. It's that type of thing. Elocution and other big words. This is not an exercise in grammar or elocution. So don't try to use big words if you don't know how to use them. The marking scheme. Every educator marks to a standard. You will get a mark as follows. 40 for matter. 40 for manner, 20 for method, and 100 total. The average for any speaker is 75. Don't spend your time debating life worrying about numbers, but like I said, for the purpose of our assignment, you're going to be using a rubric that um, was provided by National TSA that I just showed you. So um, look at that rubric. And I'm not going to grade these as difficult as I would if um, I knew you've been debating.